for five dollars at a sale sold it for one thousand eight hundred and fifty after a few months buyer paid full price hey bolo buddies thanks for watching all right you guys in this video we are going to talk about big money bolos items to be on the lookout for items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit i'm going to tell you where they got it what they paid for it and what it sold for so what I did is in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group under the announcements slash featured section at the top of the Facebook group, you are going to find a post that says share a sold link in the comments, best February Bolo or whatever month it is. This month, I am sharing with you February Bolo's items that sold in February and get ready to have your socks knocked off because some of these big money Bolo's are just crazy crazy profits. All right. So we're going to start here with the first one. This can be any platform and anyone is welcome to share. Please shout out your YouTube channel, your whatnot, your selling platforms in the comments so I can give you guys a shout out in the video when I share your bolo. So this one says I had another great bolo this month. Did pay up a bit for this inlaid glass vintage MCM coffee carafe at a at $40 from Goodwill, but I knew I wouldn't leave this behind. It had never been used and still had its original tags. It sold in Etsy in just a few days later for $146 with free shipping. Probably could have gotten more, but forgot my entire Etsy shop was on 20% markdown. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness, that is stunning. Stunning, stunning. Yes, they put absolutely stunning. I agree. That is the word that comes to my mind when I look at this. Stunning. What a beautiful piece. All right. Whoops. Oops. Okay. Let's look here at the next one. The next one is this Spider-Man right here. This is an original Superman kryptonite 1974 DC Comics poster, National Publications. He said he took a best offer of $275 and he paid $1. Not sure where he got this one, but I know he likes to go to garage sales and he likes to bundle and buy things in uh, bulk at garage sales. So he always has really interesting posts over on the Facebook group. He is AAA Antiques and Collectibles. Definitely check out his eBay store because he is a bolo finder. Here's another one that he shared. It's Karate Kid Part 2. It's a VHS. He said he took a best offer of $50 on this and paid a dollar for it. So do VHS sell that are sealed? Yeah, and some of them sell for crazy money. Not Most of them are bread and butter. Not all of them are going to sell for crazy money. Uh, let's see, RCA side watermarks. I don't know if that's important, but he put it in the title and it says rare, yellow RCA side watermarks. Let's look at that again. So right here, maybe this. So if you see something like that on your VHS, maybe look into it a little more. I don't know. I don't know too much about that. But because he put it in the title and it went for $50, I'd maybe uh, look into that. Okay. Men's Allen Edmonds Rainer split toe bletcher boot oh my goodness that says purchase for two dollars at a local mom and pop thrift store um elite repeat sold for full price of 155 dollars and 30 days ebay store is deva marie shop there you go pre-owned shoes i was gonna say stinky smelly shoes <laughs> I'm not a big shoe seller, guys. If they're used, I'm kind of like, um, do I want to sell these? But uh, let me know your experience with selling used shoes. And what do you do if they're smelly? Because I'm telling you, sometimes used shoes are smelly, right? Let me know down in the comments how you make them smell good. All right. Just having a little fun there. This is a Lug Puddle Jumper SE Travel Backpack. Black. Excellent use condition. Metal hardware, magnets, zippers. This is what it looks like. Here is a bit more of a common bolo for thrifters. It's not common for me. I've never heard of this. 
So um, if you're like me, this is new to you also. This brand is called Lug and they are sold either on their website or also on QVC. These things feel really high quality. I picked up several pieces of stuff from this brand at a recent Goodwill stop. Paid six to 10 per piece. They retail for 100 to 200 each. Buyer was all in for 60 on this backpack. I had a tote as well that also sold for 60 a week before this sold. Learned about this brand by Bearded Thrift Machines channel and figured I would pass the knowledge along. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, you guys definitely pick uh, follow Bearded Thrift Machine if you're not already. Awesome YouTube channel. Great reseller content. Okay, here is another one. Vikings Gone Wild Game Limited Edition Ultimate Set Kickstarter Exclusive. Oh, looky there. There's where it says Kickstarter. While at a Goodwill around Christmas, I heard a couple of people complaining about how you cannot find good things at the thrift store anymore because there are too many pickers. This was sitting on an end cap five feet away. Grab my What grabbed my attention is the Kickstarter Ultimate Edition sticker, meaning someone purchased this as a backer to this Kickstarter project. I always scan anything with a Kickstarter sticker because if it's a product that goes on to become super popular... This also has collectability. Opted for the quick buck, paid 20 and sold for 100. Best offer. Plus shipping on this item because it doesn't come up often. Only other comp was a pre-owned that had been listed for a long time at 180. Awesome. That is a great tip. Thank you for sharing. All right. Vintage 1978 Milton Bradley Simon Says Game Classic Works C Video. And you can see right here there is a video that shows how it works. I highly recommend putting a video into your listing that is going to let the people looking at your item know that the item works. All right, let's take a peek here um, at what this says. A state sale paid a dollar, sold for 60 within 10 minutes of listing. And this one comes from Berkshire Pickers. The next one is this Samantha Brown Croc Dow Travel Carry-On RFID Protection Luggage Red Bag. I paid $4 for this bag at the Salvation Army before Christmas. I didn't know the brand, but it was in good condition and had tags. Comps were kind of all over the place, so I listed for $60 hoping for the best. Last week, I accepted an offer of $56 on Poshmark. Vacation season is coming, so any kind of travel bags are something to look for. Store name, Flower Gems on eBay and Poshmark. So it is a, it's got the original tags on it and everything. Oh my goodness. Look at this, you guys. Talk about vintage. I purchased this at a church sale last summer as toward the end of the sale. So they were doing a $5 fill a bag. So my cost of goods ending up being uh, 50 cents. It was at best, half full. It took a while to sell, but I would say it was worth it. As you say, Courtney, list it and forget it. I ended up taking a best offer of 60 plus shipping on eBay. My eBay seller name is K Heather Pens. Half full, vintage nestle streaks and tips, spray on hair color for prop or advertising. Ha! <laughs> Love it. Sold it for $60, paid 50 cents. Oh my goodness. What do you guys think? Half full. I love it. Yes, list it and forget it. That's what I do say. Uh, if you've already done the work, just list it and forget it. And that becomes easier the more items you have listed, I think. If you're a newer seller and you have 50 to 100 items, you know, you're constantly thinking, when's my item going to sell? As you list more, you start to forget what's listed and it just list it and forget it. All right. This is a leg exercise, motorized leg exercise mover machine. Power cord remote, excellent used condition. All right. First time poster here. And I missed the January Bolo video. Uh, I was hoping you would include it in the February videos. I found this item at my local saver store tucked under the shelf in a toy section. I pulled it out and looked pretty new to me. So I first scanned it to see what the comps were and noticed it was selling in the hundreds. I brought it over to an outlet, plugged it in to see if it worked and it worked perfectly. All the parts were there as well as the instruction booklet. Everything was in like new condition. They were asking $6.99 for it and I had a 20% off coupon, so $5.49. I took a best offer of $165 and 
and it sold within days. Positive feedback feedback received. My store name is The Butcher's Wife 22. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah, that looks to be in I bought it and I thought I would use it and I never did condition. <laughs> How many of you have those things sitting around your house? Um, let me ask you this. I am one of those people that I want to go buy it to sell it. I don't like finding things in my house to sell. Are you the same way? Let me know down in the comments. There's just something about finding things from my house. We should do a challenge where we all have to go and find five items from our house and list them. Just think about all of the items in our house that are sitting still in the box or um, barely used. You know you got a bolo in your house. So I should do a share post on that. That would be fun. All right, let's do the next one here. My husband was complaining about he needed a new coat. And I was like, what about those two giant ones in the closet taking up space? He was like, oh, those, I don't like them. You can sell them if you want. You can imagine my excitement to know, uh, I'm sorry, to now have two Carhartts for free. Listed them and got instant watchers on eBay and then did my usual of cross posting to Poshmark within minutes. I had a couple offers and so many likes I was going back and forth on an offer and another person sent a higher offer and I took it sold in less than 10 minutes for $52. And that is on Poshmark Carhartt men's gray full swing hooded jacket fleece lined winter coat. Yeah. Carhartt vintage Carhartt, definitely a bolo. And if you guys are not on Poshmark and Mercari, I have referral links down below. You get $10 to shop when you use the referral link to join Poshmark. And on Mercari, you get $10 to shop when you join and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. So that is free money to buy on those platforms. And when you guys buy something, I get a little money to shop also. So I thank you when you guys use those referral links and affiliate links down below. It means a lot to me. It really does. Um, here is the second coat she sold. And she said for the second jacket, the person who was trying to buy the first one now flipped and sent offers on this one. I got him up to 47, went ahead and took it as well. Super happy with my two quick sales. And now I have room in the closet. There you go. Crazy Liz, LOL, is her uh, store name on Poshmark. And if you guys are not cross posting, I use this perfectly. There's a tutorial down below. You can get 30% off your first month with a uh, coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. And I watched that video. It shows you how to cross post. There's so many different ways to use List Perfectly that are going to help you with your business. They just came out with the Pro Plus plan. Look into that. So many new features, you guys. Absolutely incredible. I've been using List Perfectly since 2019 and I still love it. So uh, check that out down below. All right. This is the one Oh my goodness, knock my socks off. They are, no, I'm kidding. They're still on my feet. Uh, 1870s, Rocky Mountain Road, Quilt, New York, Beauty, 87 by 75, antique quilt. Look at this beautiful quilt. Oh my goodness, it's stunning. Uh, bought this quilt for $5 at a sale, sold it for $1,850 after a few months. Buyer paid full price. $1,850 paid five. Are you kidding me? Sterling's first edition eBay store. That is incredible. And I do love the photos when they actually lay the items out on a bed so you can see what it looks like. I think that's really important, especially with beautiful items like this. All right. The next one comes from Got Junk in Our Trunk. And if you are not following Got Junk in Our Trunk, oh my goodness, you need to be. She has an amazing YouTube channel. She has um, reseller content, but her videos are so different than anyone else's. They are put to music and they go really fast and you just get to see what she sold. So it's a great way to learn quickly. Um, got junk in our trunk is also a moderator of the Facebook group. So thank you so much for your help. I appreciate it. You guys show her some love with a, uh, follow to her eBay store. She also has got junk in our trunk on Facebook. Follow her there. Um, just show her some love because the Facebook group has what over a hundred thousand members in it. And it is a, it's a job. So, um, 
Check out her uh, YouTube channel, eBay, all of that good stuff. Throne of Glass hardcover complete set, Bloomsbury original covers with poster. She said her son-in-law's only sibling passed away in the fall of 2023, and these books were his belongings. Oh, well, that's a sad start. They appeared never to have been read in near mint condition. I originally listed them high at $449.99 plus shipping, and they were very heavy. Due to comps for single books, I was seen online. There was no urgency to sell, and I wanted to see if I could get top dollar for my kids. I received an immediate offer for $250, and I declined it. I received another offer, different buyer, within the same week for $350 and declined it. After considering overnight, I had just had a feeling, so I ended the listing, upped it to $599.99, took a best offer, which I normally have on all my listings, and they sold for full asking price plus shipping about a week later. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So she sold this for a family member to help them out, and she sold it for $599.99. Go, got junk in our trunk. And, you know, that feeling that you get that you're like, mm, I need to up the price because I'm getting so many offers. Yes. Yes. Follow your gut, you guys. Sometimes it's right. Sometimes it's right. And in this case, it really paid off for her. Operation Game 1965 Milton Bradley Smoking Doctor Complete Works Near Mint. Smoking Doctor? What does that mean? Is he smoking? <laughs> is that not on every cover? I don't know. I've never noticed that before. That is hilarious. New to the group, but love the tone so far. Here's my first bolo. Just a fun one. Pick this 1965 Milton Bradley up at a uh, thrift store for $3 and accepted an offer for $39. It's not a big money one, but the things I love is the 1965 original version had a smoking doctor on the cover and it, and so it's a collect, it's collectible and odd. There you go, guys. I did not even know that. That's hilarious. Sold it complete, although I had to scavenge a bread basket piece from a spare parts that I kept. Love the show and keep it up. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. This one comes from Davo and Lizzie's Cachet. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> um, thank you so much for sharing. That's a fun bolo. Look at it, guys. How many of you guys loved this game as a kid? Loved it. Loved it. All right. And the next one comes from eBay store, Jersey Shore Thrifter. Facebook marketplace name is Jerry B. Goods. He said, this is my top five trash picks in terms of soul price. Found this stunning Murano glass chandelier at the curbside market, AKA in a trash pile. Amazingly, not even chipped. Asking prices, not sold comps on sites like Cherish, Cherish. First dibs were north of 1500 Listed on Facebook Marketplace and eBay for 800 No bites. Kept reducing the price because it terrified me to have this hanging around. If you've ever heard of a bull in a china shop, pleased to meet you. Just call me bull. <laughs> Jerry's so funny. Got a message with an offer today for 300 Gladly accepted. Now to ship this thing. Just kidding. Courtney, I know you're having palpitations. Thinking about shipping this. Local pickup buyer was absolutely thrilled. Yes, I hate shipping crazy things, but here is the picture of it right here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. No way, no way is anybody shipping that. I mean, maybe you're brave enough to ship that, but not me. All right, you guys, again, come on over to the Facebook group. Share your best bolo. March will probably be up by the time you see this video. I also have typically share your best plush bolo and sometimes another one. So those are under the announcements section featured section at the top of the group. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And here's what I'm going to say. Um, I'm asking you to share a sold link, but people are having trouble with that. So if you share a screenshot and also include the eBay item number, I can find the item with the item number. So just put that in your comment. And I think that's going to be a little maybe workaround since you can no longer share from the app. And I'm hoping that's just a thing that, you know, with the new update that they need to tweak and fix. So we'll see. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching. And I will see you at the next one.
Thanks to everybody that shared and watched. Thanks for watching.